and visited from there and worked about uh, three years uh, here in, in India. Then I moved to the US uh, in the Silicon Valley. Uh, that time uh, for computer science it was new, not many opportunities. So I felt really lucky I was able to go to the US and really able to work on the latest technology. Suddenly I am in an area called Silicon Valley. Uh, that's the uh, area where most of the technological companies like Facebook, Google, you actually can name it, uh, most of the companies are here. And I felt myself in the lucky, I was able to work some of the start up there from the company and able to get a lot of experience and able to work, contribute myself. And meanwhile, I got married, uh, become a father of three children. My oldest children is a, a boy, which is 19 years old now. And second is uh, 17 years old and a girl, uh, 11 years old. So my young daughter was born in 2010. And from, like, from 2000 to 2010, it was a period like I can remember where we eat and father, they know like when you, when you have a kid, how the time goes. It's like a storm goes 10 years, very fast. Uh, then 2011, I was getting more time. Then I was more thinking of, okay, I had been like living for last 10 years, a lot of busy with the jobs and all of that stuff. But slowly I was thinking, uh, where is my dream? Uh, where the dreams are there? Then first of all, I thought like, uh, maybe I should, I, I, I should, I should try. But initially, I was 40, 42 years at that time. And initially, I was a little bit felt myself crazy, like uh, 42 years, and kind of trying to dreaming or trying to climb an Everest. That's also like too high bar for me. Uh, I felt my, myself a bit crazy, but at the same time, uh, I'll say like it's a, like a more like what you saying maybe. I I was uh, not willing to give up. I thought like if I don't try, at least give it, don't try. Uh, I think I'll never, I'll just be thinking and dreaming about my dreams, but never really go and work on that. So, so, so what I did was like, first thing, then I was doing some research, what exactly need to climb the Everest. And initially I was little bit like, like a uh, little bit disappointed seeing the amount of preparation is needed, uh, amount of risks. Involved, you may lose your life also. Uh, initially, I was a little bit disappointed. Uh, then, uh, I was a little bit uh, little disappointed. I felt like, okay, this cannot be something I should not pursue or not maybe. But at the same time, there is a competing thought on my head uh, saying that uh, you, you should try, actually, you should at least give a try whether you really go up or not, whether you want to submit or not. That's a different thing. But you should give it right. So in between, like actually my wife is there also. Uh, there's the one small mountain where I live, about like uh, 2,000 feet. So she can you know, and goes for a hiking, but I was again not that active. Uh, she told one day, okay, uh, I think you should go one day to the hike and see like how it will be. Uh, one day actually I went, I really feel good. Then that is the day like when I was thinking, maybe uh, I should try. Not give up, and that's just the point. Like it's uh, 2012. So then uh, I was start preparing myself, but initial thought was uh, the is still too far. But initial thought was how to make myself free. So what I did, like five years, I give a lot of importance to my fitness. So basically, I'm trying to become a fit. That was the, my initial goal. At the same time, uh, I was start reading a lot of books. Uh, especially motivational books and uh, biography of many people. Uh, what I was trying to understand is like what kind of quality I need to develop, uh, what are the things I need to do, do really to achieve my goal. Uh, reading many books, uh, I came to conclusion of two things. Uh, first one, uh, I think which is very important. So to achieve any goal, not a mountaining your study or the economics or anywhere in your life, right? Uh, there is no shortcut actually. There is no shortcut. 
there's no single failure like you can say or some kind of target uh, what you most of us like tell Baba or something you get, you get there, right? Uh, actually nothing like that. Uh, it's a long process, a lot of hard work involved, a lot of planning involved. So that's what I understood. Uh, second one is, uh, when you have a very big goal, uh, it's really hard to concentrate on your goal. So you need to be able to break down that goal into small pieces. So when I say small pieces, so my goal was like average, but my initial, initial goal was that the attainable was the, how to make myself and that fitness also I am kind of able to break down into a weekly goal. Weekly goal in the sense like, okay, to become a fit, I should do this, I, I should do this kind of exercise, and I should, I would to say, uh, I should do this kind of place. So I divided into small goal. So five years ago, uh, actually I was, uh, I was very patient on that, so I was not thinking too much about the big thing, but I was just thinking myself well, uh, to become fit. Then one after five years, what I did like, I was just kind of experimenting myself and trying to see how much fitness I got. Uh, so I start some of the hiking, hiking like half hiking in the US. So actually, I was able to do it better. So the confidence slowly grew. Then, then the second thing that I was trying to experiment on is how my body is actually fitting in the higher region. Because you may be very fit very big in the sea level, but once you go to the environment where oxygen is raised, 50% uh, can become a very weak. So your body also has to be necessarily a little bit adjusted. There are many techniques I learned long later on, but uh, your body has to also uh, adjust to that. So one time actually we went to South America, uh, it's called Machu Picchu, one of the three So there's a the mountain there. So I thought this may be a good place to experiment myself. So actually I went there and I was surprised actually the fitness has gone up and I was able to kind of easily do it. Uh, so I was I was very really extremely happy seeing that maybe I'll, uh, I'll I may be able to attend my goal. The second step on the same year uh, I signed up for the address place again I uh, which is in the Himalayas. Uh, it's more of like a testing water so in the real, real process that is like a mother, this thing that goes on. So that's how I, where I went here. And actually, I went for a track, this is about 16 minutes, but I was actually able to do it clearly. Actually, the Sherpa that was with me, he was in a He was also surprised, I myself was uh, surprised. So that was the big confidence gain for me. Then after that, uh, first I went to the Kilimanjaro, Kilimanjaro is more of a like a hiking peak, not beneath this ice or a humanity, but it's more of a hike you can go all the way to the top. Then I went to another mountain, which is like highest peak in the Europe, and uh, small level, it's in Russia. So I was, when we I got some training on the ice related tools and how to use them, how to uh, use those and how to efficiently use those, I was uh, doing some training. And actually I was able to climb the highest mountain of Europe. So that was kind of a more confident again. And after that, uh, after the Himalaya, uh, highest mountain that is outside the Himalaya is in uh, Argentina. It's called Mount Kangua. Uh, it's about 7,000 So I thought like, let me try with this one. Let me see like how the confidence can I get it. So I went there. So we are four people. The team member at that time I was about like almost like 49. And the teammate I had, most of them are my half of my age. So one was 22, another was 23, another uh, was 25. So when going up, I was actually very able to go in them, with them, but when coming I was a little slow. But that was one of like the most confident games uh, I have like competing with the I will have a mountain and this is like half of my life. Uh, I was very happy and I kind of made a mind. Uh, I think I may be able to exceed my goal. So that was the first time I got really confident, physical confidence. So I came back in the home. Then 
I came back, but I was not able to sign up for that class. The biggest factor was fear. Uh, I was always thinking like uh, fear of death, like fear of if I don't come back, what will happen to my family, uh, what will happen to my skills and life, and what may happen to my baby, uh, body and uh, Mostly some unnecessary fear, uh, which is a kind of genuine also not unnecessary, but it was very fearful. Uh, it took almost one year to get out of that fear. Slowly I started learning how to use this fear for my content. So first thing, what I was learning is like I was also reading a lot of books when I was reading some of the religious texts also, just to understand what is the meaning of life, what really you want to do. So uh, this is my take on that. So meaning of life, what I see is like if you have something, uh, I think we should follow it, we should prepare for it, we should go in a full course. So that is the message I got of learning and that's where like slowly my fear is gone and I start learning how to use that fear, so fear for my country. So anytime when I get lazy, when I prepare for that, anytime I get lazy, then I use that fear for, I have to do like kind of, I don't want to be a one way journey, I want to really come back. So then I really start learning that year. So I signed up actually last year. I came for a one certification last year, uh, last year on the April. So when it came, it was the COVID situation it was very normal. But uh, after two weeks, uh, we call it Delta wave, second wave, uh, that came. Uh, actually that came with a base came also, lot of people got sick. So we were 19 members, I found them definitely to work sick. I also myself work sick. I found them need to be rescued by helicopter from this camp to come. Uh, I was also sick, but before coming, uh, coming to the expedition, I was one of those who were but I was having some kind of mental issue and saying that, okay, though I think maybe I will recover because I have one of this one vaccine. So I came down from the south for a week in the water group. But that was a little bit of a false takeover. I think my mind was almost there. But uh, I was below, I was not really kind of happy. This is not very patient to be able to recover. So I, I went back to Italy. Then I went back to Italy, then I tried to go up uh, the way to camp one day. Then uh, I realized I have not fully recovered. If you have myself, I'm not fully recovered. I was not able to uh, properly break. And I was thinking, uh, thinking about 15 minutes, I was thinking, am I like, taking two weeks? Or am I also putting other people around me uh, also in the week? So then I decided to do it. Then I got more sick and I was kind of rescued from the base camp. And I was go from base camp to the Lakman hospital. I was there for about a week and then finally came back home. So uh, we went to we a lot of hopes. A lot of things and came back with a broken heart and broken uh, broken body. So I was really kind of disappointed, and but again I thanked my wife and my children for their support. Then it took me almost one month to physically recover, which is very good actually, physically recover, but mentally I was not able to recover. Then one day I was really thinking, uh, I was thinking like uh, I was questioning my, myself like what dharma, drama I am to give myself on the internet. Either you do one thing, either you do it, just move on in the life, that's one option. Uh, second option is like I was thinking, uh, I was preparing for last eight years and this is the first attempt I have given and I tell the first attempt, select it in the first attempt. So that was the another question and then I was also thinking about my kid and I was thinking maybe I should try if they take me as an example sometime and if they may be a little bit inspired, okay, despite all the setbacks, I have given another try. So that was the moment uh, I thought I decided then I thought okay, I'm going back. Then that's the day. Uh, that's the day itself actually I took my suit, I ran about like a, almost like a half marathon and what happened I have not run for last few, almost two months, uh, uh, then come back, it was like whole day, your body was training, everywhere training, because I just did suddenly out of emotion, but able to recover, 
that first thing, whatever the thing, one mistake I have done like last time. Is there anything I can learn from my mistake? And what I can do to those mistakes? How I correct those mistakes? How I can, I can, uh, I can correct it? I can use the advantage for my So I was, um, after a lot of research, I was thinking, I was doing a pop cluster, which is kind of pop to get in a higher level. Very literally in the sense like you cannot pop, you cannot sleep, you will keep on popping and it will make you weak for you for the whole explanation. So one of the reasons I found that I was actually taking a lot of breath through my mouth, mouth, and that's maybe the one of the reason for uh, having that pop. So I did a lot of research and research that I found out that I simply doing more breath through nose rather than mouth. So to train that actually, the reason I'm telling this is uh, just to give you like a few of this here, right? Uh, any goal, any goal, right? Require a prepare some lot of patients and right? So what I did for last one year, when I sleep, I should put a, a tape in my mouth in the night. So then I start taking a break from the nose. So I, I did every day uh, for last one year. Just train myself in the brain saying that, okay? The uh, reason I'm telling this one, uh, anything you like, whoever here, right? If you have a lot of things here, this is the place where you, you have a dream, right? So, anything to attend, you can no shortcut. Uh, you have to prepare yourself 100%, 110% of the day. So, same, same thing I'm doing for this much day. So, I came back this year on 9th. That night when my expedition is started. Uh, maybe I want to show just walk through the journey of the expedition. Uh, I think uh, yeah, what is this climbing actually? Three, three steps. Uh, first step is for the tracking itself. That's the number one. Uh, second step is the rotation. Uh, third one is the actual sound. So three steps are the
आप एक टाइम पूरा रूम हो ही गया लेकिन ना इस बीच का रूम फुल रूम आप एक टाइम में दिवाली का मारो हाँ दिवाली का वो बीच में वो वो नहीं जाल बन गया ना वो टाइम में तो सब उधर क्या करता है सब कैसे भी स्मगलिंग करना है रॉकेट वो ही वो ही धंधा सब करता है स्मगलिंग क्या होता है ना रात में इधर से मारेगा उधर से मारेगा जोश का हाउस चल के गाड़ी आओ विनोद का बार बनने के बाद ये परमिशन हो गया वही वही ये रूम का ऊपर का ये खुला है कि नहीं खुला है कि नहीं सेटा है ना खुला था ऊपर ये खुला था क्या ना इस रूम में क्या ना वापस पेंट किया है तो पेंट किया ना आगे में ये खुला था वो पीती का टाइम में सब ऊपर था जितने सेकी मरा है क्या ना लुका लेता हूँ तेरे ऊपर लुका बोला आई मोबाइल लगता है। हम लोग के बड़ा सर का ये केला था वो लेके उधर में ऊपर में रखता था। At that time like we used to have one more string over here, बीच में और एक था। वो अभी हाल में निकाला है। हाल निकाला? केविन बनाया बोली सर। वो केविन और कौन बोला नहीं है? बोला नहीं है। केविन सिस्टम नहाले करने का हो गया है। ग्रीन बेची दे दी। केविन तो ये शब्द है। ऐसा यार ऐसा दिन। अगला है। अगला है। वो ना डिवाइडेड इनटू क्लास वाइज इट वाज डिवाइडेड रूम सा डिवाइडेड और मिक्स। मिक्स है। मिक्स है। ओके। मिक्स है। बेहतर है। बेटर कंट्रोल में मिक्स है। ये वाल तो कहाँ आ गया ये बिजनेस मैंने रूटर हाउस से डिवाइड डिवीजन आकर ना डिवाइड लेकिन आपको तो याद है पूरा फुटबॉल खोल सेल जैसे बोर्ड को निभाओ हाँ जो तो फुटबॉल खोली वो इतनी है वही बुकाओ को अरे सुसोड़ी मिली है बोलिए तेरा वाल नसील है हेलो चार गुड एफ्टरनून ओह लॉट ऑफ मेमोरीज ये � I do. I think I do. Yeah, Michael, you're not silly. 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 You're कोई भी नहीं कोई पानी का मार कोई ना स्विमिंग पूल हाँ स्विमिंग पूल मैंने रोना नहीं था बार तुम्हारे तुम तो दिखे कौन पामा सावर तुम्हारे सोता हट्टा है क्या लेकिन पानी ऐसे नहीं है बोरी आरोग्य 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 आरोग
go? Where do you want to go? Very good. It was really fun, like uh, everybody is like how to smuggle how much rocket, right? So they will be the one, they will win, win the game, right? So it's the only like we could go like somehow, it will make people like a fast one rocket, rocket like Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was another game like with ball, you have to hit like. <laughs> oh. Actually, at bar, I think, right? There is another loyalty and sitting inside. You are going to see the world. You are going to see the world. You are going to see the world. You are going to see the
How is your exam? At the age of 21, 22, becoming a commission officer, very big thing. At our, at our time, no, there was no one to guide us. We were only given the papers, you know? Yeah, papers. Our ah, papers were like, this is like, go and solve. I mean, that's very good to visit for us. But now I understand. That is why I put my son here. But he is not interested, so I put him there. <laughs> You guys are really lucky, man. Really lucky. Three thousand rupees for your tea and snacks. Huh? Bye. Come on, come on, come on. 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 If you take this to the mess, it will be a really, really big mess, no? The money will be gone. What do you put? We don't put, we used to go the
Hey, to sell a cylinder.